For this week's seven seasonal quests, essentially have to pop two vehicle tires. So one of the best ways to do this is to go right over here to uh, the racetrack, which is this north of Mega City, as you can see. And here you're gonna find a bunch of vehicles. There's at least like four all around. So we have this one, for example, right here. And you're gonna just pop the tires by shooting them. So we have this one, and we're gonna just shoot the first tire. Let me just like go back. So that's four shots to pop it. There we go. And you can just keep popping them if, like, by uh, if by any chance, like, uh, one of them doesn't count, you can just pop another one. Or, of course, you can go to another vehicle and try the tires on that one uh, as well. Because, you know, uh, Fortnite does have its share of bugs, so some sometimes things don't really work. But, yeah, this is the basic gist of it. You just, you know, pop the uh, vehicle, like, the vehicle tires, and that's it. Could be the quest. For this week's 7 seasonal quest, it says you have to damage opponent with coat weapons. So, as you can see, I got myself the uh, thermal DMR right here. And I'm just gonna... Come on try to damage this dude all the way over there there we go that's one elim he was fighting this guy here come on fight me <laughs> i have the high ground where is he where'd he go Who? there we go so like i said uh the best like scoped weapon i can think of is the thermal dmr which you can literally like find everywhere and uh, there's also this one right here the MK7, the MK Alpha Assault, uh, not the MK7, the MK Alpha Assault Rifle, which should also have a scope, as you can see right here. But uh, I wouldn't really count on it that much. My, like, this one is much more uh, reliable. And I think an NPC sells it. So if I go right here, I'm pretty sure an NPC sells it. So let's see here. Fishing Rod, Upgrade, Havoc. We don't need that. Scout, Drum, Medmit. This is, a bit, uh, this is like a good way to find we weapons. Yeah, there we go. So thermal DMR for 250 gold. You can just go ahead and buy it from the Aura NPC right here, as you can see, in front of this uh, gas station. Let me just go here. There's an RV-like station here, which is going to be located right here. And you can just buy the thermal DMR and just, you know, keep hunting uh, people, deal damage to them. And that should be the quest. For this week's 7 seasonal quest, you should have to eliminate opponents with SMG. So I highly recommend just, you know down the opponent and then eliminating them with the smg that's the better best way to do it you need to eliminate 10 uh, opponents with smgs in total and i highly recommend doing this in team rumble mode so you can just grab yourself two smgs a shotgun to thin down like their hp just you know make sure they're under 100 hp and then simply just finish them off with the smg itself and yeah like i said team rumble mode is your best uh friend in this one because it's much easier there people are just gonna keep spawning like from the air or you can just you spawn from the air itself and then you can just land on an opponent and just you know eliminate them get 10 eliminations with smgs and that should be the quest for this week's seven quest is you have to land at steamy springs or breakwater bay which is all the way over here and you simply just survive until there's only 20 players left so make sure you hit the ground at one of these two locations first so that's your first assignment uh if it were me i would highly recommend landing at steamy springs because it's much much better like you have more places to to hide and to survive especially because of the uh um the geysers i always forget the name of these of these things let me just remember where they were located i think it's this way if i'm not mistaken so right now we have landed right here at uh at steamy springs I'm gonna grab a random weapon we don't we're not really gonna fight we're just gonna survive i just need to locate the um the uh, geysers i'm pretty sure they're here let me just go over here just gonna take a little bit of a spin let's see let me grab this okay they must be on the other side let me just go here i'm gonna take those uh those uh um chalky grenades Anything that helps you survive is always good. And I highly recommend doing this in uh, like solos because, you know, if you try to che cheat the system and do it like in um, like in uh, uh, maybe Team Rumble or maybe squads, it doesn't always work. It sometimes works. Like, I'm not going to deny that. Uh, but sometimes it does not. Okay, there's the geysers. I completely forgot where they were located, man. I got a little bit lost because they don't really land here that often. Just for quests, maybe. So here we go. So after you land at Steamy Springs, you're going to make your way to this spot right here. As you can see, let me just ping it for you. It's gonna be right over here. And they're gonna use these geysers to go wherever you want. I highly recommend going to this like middle temple right here to hide. Ah, sorry. So you can hide over there. Or of course you can go to Mega City and you can easily, easily disappear inside one of the buildings and literally nobody will ever find you. 
And yeah, the basic idea is just to play the waiting time, the waiting game. And uh, you're going to wait until there's only 20 players left. Make sure you're always inside the zone. Once there's only 20 players left, you can just, you know, exit the game. And that's it. Complete the quest. For this week's 7 season of quests, it says you have to open chests or armor boxes at Frenzy Field or, uh, uh, what was the other PY? Uh, Brutal Bastion, yeah. <laughs> so either here at this location or here at this location. And you basically just want to go, go around and just open random chests and ammo boxes. There should be a bunch here. Hopefully nobody, like, uh, looted everything. They don't usually loot everything, so there should be more left. Of course, you're gonna uh, definitely, like, find chests and ammo boxes once you land here for the first time. I just came here from another location. Yeah, somebody's here. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna just bounce. We don't want anything here. Does he want to die that badly? Oh, it's a bot. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Gonna grab this. Grab this. And we're gonna go all the way over there. There should be more uh, boxes to loot here. Here we go. I think only bots like land here. I don't really see any real players. So as you can see, there's a chest here. You need to uh, open 10 in total, by the way. Oh, there's an ammo box. So yeah, you get the gist of it. Just, you know, roam around the POI. Open as many boxes and, and as many uh, chests that you can. There's more here. <laughs> And of course, if you run out of chests and ammo boxes, you can either exit the game and uh, land here again. Or of course, you can just go to the other POI, which is Brutal Bastion, and open that. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that, and that should be the quest. For this week's 7th season of quests, is that you have to spend 500 bars. And one of the easiest ways to spend 500 gold bars in like in an instant is to basically go to an upgrade bench, grab yourself a like gray weapon, like a, a common weapon, and you basically just upgrade it. So this one is 100 gold. That's 350 gold. And with this one, it's uh, 600, 725, something like that. <laughs> so that's 500 gold spent in literally an instant. So this one is, the, this is like the location for this upgrade bench. Uh, there's an upgrade bench in every main PUI, so it doesn't really matter. Like you can land at Mega City, you'll find one. You can find one at Frenzy Field, so on and so forth. And yeah, oh, this guy is trying to attack me. So yeah, that's the basic idea. Just, you know, spend the gold as fast as possible. And that should be the quest. For this week's 7th seasonal quest, is that you have to solve a puzzle at a rune. And one of the best ways to do it is to land right here at Aura. So Aura is the NPC right here. And we're going to buy the, uh, the like, either, either the Thermal DMR or the key from her. I'm going to grab the key because we're going to need it. So we're going to take the key and we're going to go all the way to the uh, rune itself. So this is the rune location, as you can see. All right, once you're here, we're going to open the holo chest to get yourself an epic weapon because we're going to need to trade the weapon for uh, for um, for the door. Let's grab this, for example. There's the epic weapon right there. And we're going to take this weapon and we're going to go inside. Actually, let me take a, a weapon that I'm going to use to defend myself. All right, once you're here, you're going to want to go to this door. As you can see, this door requires an epic item or higher to open. So we're going to give it this, like make sure you have this equipped. And then we're going to give it to the door. Dora is going to say, this is acceptable, you may pass. We're going to enter, and inside we're going to find another puzzle. So let me just open uh, like some of these chests and grab weapons. Because right now I'm a sitting duck. Okay, let me just hide here for a second. Yeah, somebody's here, I can hear them. They're on top of us. Alright. Let's do this. So, uh, let, let me explain. So there's these like fire... Uh, Pinkies, <laughs> fire tolum, whatever you want to call them. So there's five of them, one in the middle and one on each corner, as you can see. So all of them are lit up, which like this is the puzzle. And to solve this puzzle, you need to go uh, like you need to go on top and you're going to find the other ones. Let me just. Does he think I don't hear him? Oh, I think it's a bot. OK, <laughs> all right. That was uh, that was disappointing. OK, so basically um, those fires correspond to these fires on top. The one in the middle is going to be this one in the middle. So as you can see, it is lit up. So it's going to stay lit up. The other ones are going to be right here on top of the thing. So if we do this, if I, uh, if I look this way, so that one is not lit up. This one is not lit up. So two on the left are not lit up and the two on the right. So let me just open here. So this one is lit up and the other one is not. So only one is lit up. Okay, so just by process of elimination, we can actually do this one. Okay, so we're going to go back, uh, back uh, down. We're going to turn all of them off. There we go. We're going to turn this one off. And we're going to turn this one off. Ooh. When did you, when did you come in? All right. So 
we have this one turned on but uh, apparently it's not the correct one so we're gonna turn it off so we were standing like this i think this one was turned on let's see nope that should be this one just by process of elimination you can just find it okay so it's uh it's mirrored so this is the correct uh direction so this should be it just gonna open this one and as you can see the door has opened so the correct direction was this like like this so look up look down and the fire will correspond to the one on top and as you can see the door opens and for this one it's a simple puzzle it's basically choosing so you have to choose the correct statue if you choose the wrong one it's gonna rift you up but that's not a problem because you can just come down so i'm gonna choose the one to the right just because why not Ooh, okay i got lucky it's the correct one the other one is a rift that you can use to exit and as you can see this is the final puzzle and yeah you open the final vault for this uh, ruin uh, like I said, I already made a video on all the, like, uh, temple puzzles. There's a lot of them. There's one at Rumble Ruin. There's one uh, over here. There's one right here, I believe. There's one right here. One at Stilted uh, right over here. And this one, like, the giant one right here. So there's a lot of them. But, of course, you can just do this one because it's really, really easy. Especially acquiring, like, a, an epic weapon. It's very easy. Just go to Aura. Get the uh, the epic, like, the thermal DMR or the, uh, like, holo chest key. Go here get a get a, uh, an epic weapon open the door do the puzzle and then choose the correct statue and then you'll be you'll find yourself inside the vault itself and yeah that is pretty much it for this week eight seasonal quest it says you have to deal damage to opponents using pistols so find yourself any pistol any will do and you simply just then look for opponents and deal damage to them so i just saw a bot running here and i want to fight them oh there he is right there so as you can see i have my pistol right here my handy pistol and we're just gonna go and say hello to this bot oh i did not mean to do that Okay, here we go. Man, bots are so hard to find. Just gonna deal damage to him. And there it is. <laughs> so it's literally as simple as that. Of course, it works better if you go and upgrade the pistol that you find. Uh, once you do that, just keep you know, deal damage dealing damage with different types of pistols. And that should be the quest. For this week 8 seasonal quest, it says you have to eliminate opponents with rare or better weapons. So make sure you have a rare weapon. And then go ahead and eliminate people. I'm gonna use this boomerang right here to eliminate these two bots that are fighting. Come on. Let's eliminate this dude here. That's one. Come on. There it is. That's two eliminations with a rare weapon. Like I said, this the, the weapon can be anything, but it just shows this. Uh, the kinetic boomerang, which has been unvaulted. Because, you know, it doesn't have ammo. It's uh, You can just keep spamming it on opponents. And you can get eliminations really, really easily with it. And yeah, this is the basic idea. Just, you know, get elims with this. And that should go with the quest. For this week 8 seasonal quest, it says you have to travel distance while riding all wildlife. So right now, the three wildlife that are available, available are the raptors, as you can see right here, the wolves and the uh, boars. Basically, these spawn randomly around the map. You're gonna uh, have a high chance of finding raptors in the middle of the map. So right now, I found this raptor here. And I just wanna go and just, you know, travel distance with them. It's literally as simple as this. Just, you know, go around, keep traveling distance until the appropriate distance is met. And that should be the quest. For this week 8 season request, you actually have to sprint while under the effect of slap. So you can get the slap effect from slap juice, from slap barrels, and from slap augments. So basically you're gonna find you're gonna use this slap juice right here. Just gonna drink some. And you're gonna sprint. So this is like the basic idea of it. If you don't get the uh, slap juice and you don't find the uh, slap augment, you can also land right over here at slap slappy shores right here. And you'll find a bunch of slap uh, barrels that you can destroy. Just destroy your barrel and it'll give you at least like a minute and a half of uh, like uh, uh, increased stamina. And you can just simply keep running under the effect of slap as you can see. And whenever you run out, you can either drink another bottle or you can destroy another uh, another barrel right here. And yeah, just keep sprinting until the uh, appropriate distance is, is run. And that should be the quest. For this week, a seasonal quest is that you have to score loot from uh, chests, ammo boxes, uh, produce boxes, fishing barrels, and coolers. So basically, I don't know why it's worded like this, but the basic idea is just for you to open as many of these uh, like different types of boxes and to score loot from it. So basically, we're gonna we're gonna land at Aura right here. We're gonna buy a thermal DMR because it's an epic weapon, and we're gonna take the thermal DMR, and we're gonna go all the way to uh, to um, what was it called Rumble Ruins. Yeah, <laughs> so we're gonna go to Rumble Ruins here. And I'm going to show you the best way to open as many chests uh, as possible. Let me just do this. Come on, come on, come on. I'm currently uploading videos, so, um, like, sorry for the uh, sorry for the lag. When you upload a bunch of videos and you open Fortnite, it just doesn't doesn't agree with it. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to make our way to Rumble Ruins. I'm going to tell you exactly what you're going to do with this epic weapon. This is by far the best way uh, that I've found to do this. Come on. Here we go. 
I'm gonna enter through here. Alright, here we are. You can also start by opening chests, by the way. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight to where I need to go. There's the new location for Dr. Sloan. Uh, I think it's this way? Yeah, this way. Alright, hopefully we don't run into anybody uh, aggroing us. Okay, we're gonna give the uh, the epic weapon to this door to open the um, the vault or the temple, whatever you wanna call it. Just be careful because it makes a lot of noise and people kind of like flock in whenever they hear it. All right, so once you open it, you can, just, as you can see, you can just find a bunch of these like uh, uh, chests, a bunch of these like ammo boxes, and you're just gonna keep opening them and scoring loot, whatever that means. So this like, as you can see, like this has at the very least what eight to ten chests. And it's very easily doable. You can just open them. You can, don't forget to open the ammo boxes as well. They're kind of dark, so you can't really see them in the shadows. There's two on each side. That one we opened already. I'm going to open this one. Come on. Stop lagging. There we go. So yeah, there it is. <laughs> this is like the easiest way I could find. Uh, if you want to open like uh, fishing bar fishing barrels and uh, and coolers. So for coolers, you're going to want to go here. You'll find a bunch of coolers. And for fishing barrels, you can, do, you can just go along the beach. And you'll find a bunch of fishing barrels. And uh, right here as well. In this lake. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that. And that should be the quest. For this week 8 season quest, you have to hunt raptors with the sharp tooth shotgun. So basically you're gonna wanna go and buy the sharp tooth shotgun from the stingray NPC right over here. So you're gonna find the stingray NPC north of Lonely Labs in this shack right here. So you're gonna, uh, gonna buy it for 250 gold as you can see, we're gonna just go buy it. And now we're gonna make our way to the middle of the map, to the uh, tropical biome, all the way like in the middle right here in the forest, and find ourselves some raptors. Alright, here we go, I just found myself a raptor, and we're just gonna hunt it with the sharp tooth shotgun as you can see. And there it is so it's really as simple as that of course finding raptors is not really as easy so you're gonna have to be a little bit patient with it so you're gonna have to go around the map until you find one once you do just eliminate them with the sharp tool shotgun and that should be the quest